Leave the world quieter than when you found it. Wear soft shoes and step as if everyone's asleep. Speak only when needed. Listen more than you do. Let the voice in your head babble like a stream. The only sounds will be what you couldn't hear when you weren't listening. Like that, and that, and this. Gentle like a breeze, barely shaking the leaves. So you're almost not here, only walking and looking. Hauntology. Find me in the places you avoid, because they are dirty and old. There is nothing there, and they do not lead anywhere. Find me loitering in the non-places, interstitial spaces, where you aren't supposed to go, that aren't even on a map. Find me off the main street, away from the center, on the wrong side of town, far from the lights and noise. Find me down a side street or a dingy alleyway, behind, between, below, drifting, lingering, looking, Invisible City. Look at the spaces between things, without which there would be no things. Look in the places you have not looked, which are not really places at all. Look for the places with no names, the places the signs don't point to. Look for the places where nothing is. The places your eyes can't focus. Look from a something to a nothing. Try to see nowhere as somewhere. Look for the city that is not there. The shape of where the city is not. Thread. Too fine and faint to notice, too light and subtle to touch, yet too strong to ever break, you'll probably never see it. Even if you comb the streets crawling on your hands and knees, but you can spy it sometimes from the corner of your eye in a certain slant of light, woven into everything Entwined, twisted, entangled, holding all the things together. Follow it through the labyrinth, with no beginning or end, never to be grasped or held. Somewhere, there is a street that contains everything. 
It has always been there, even before there were streets. All streets lead out of it, and all streets return to it. It doesn't have a name. No one knows who made it. If you keep on going far enough, you might get kind of close. But no matter how far you go, you always have to turn back. So, go as far as you can go. It is a little further than that. As you fall through the city, you grab onto people to slow your fall. Family, friends, lovers, anyone. So you don't drop out the other side. You hold on for dear life. And sometimes you think you've stopped falling, but it's only because others are falling faster than you. And no matter how tightly you cling, your grip loosens, you slip or are shaken off and you let go of the branch, the hand, fingers, the rail of the hospital bed. but you are disoriented and you don't know if you're coming or going you feel you've missed a beat and come unstuck but then again maybe it's the street that's wrong not you shouldn't be there, as if it forgot to leave, strange as the sun at midnight, shade and density of clouds so pale, almost translucent, very small, nearly nothing you can see the sky through it, fading, not fully erased, a reminder of something, a quiet reassurance. A leftover of nighttime. You lose it, turn to find it, not hiding nor announcing, simply waiting if you look. It is always there somewhere. 